Milo Max here. Today we're going to talk about fuel pumps, generators, and alternators. When I got my first Max Doom Buggy, I was looking up a fuel pump for it and listed pumps for use with alternators or for use with generators. I wonder what the difference is. I thought maybe there was a size limitation where a generator style fuel pump would not fit on an engine equipped with an alternator. Well, that was wrong. The reason they list it that way is because during the factory Volkswagen production run, any cars that received an alternator had a new and different style fuel pump setup. Let me show you what the difference is between the setups. Engines that originally had a generator received this setup. A push rod for the fuel pump that was four and one quarter inches long. The fuel pump push rod tube, I think they call this thing a spacer. And a generator style fuel pump. Engines that received an alternator had a fuel pump push rod four inches long and this fuel pump. See both the outlets are on the same side where the generator pump one comes straight up towards the carburetor. So if you buy a fuel pump for a VW air-cooled engine that originally had a generator on it, but somebody put an alternator on it, which is very popular because the alternators work so good, and one day the fuel pump goes bad, you buy a fuel pump for an alternator and put it on an original generator engine, it's not going to work. One reason is because of the uh, push rod length difference. Another reason is the throw on the pump. There you can see the arm sticks out past the mounting surface on the alternator pump. We're on the generator style pump. The arm is recessed lower than the pump. See it's about a quarter inch difference. That's why the generator pump requires a longer push rod and the alternator pump requires a shorter 4 inch push rod. Now these fuel pump stands that hold the push rod, when you buy a new one they're all the same, but this is an original generator stand so that the surface across here is flat and level. But if this was uh, an original alternator stand, this area where the push rod tube comes out of would be recessed so that the alternator fuel pump, the lever, would sit down in this. Okay, so in other words, if you have a generator style pump that went bad or never worked, you got to make sure you have the generator style setup. Fuel pump that has the lever 
recessed in the mounting surface of the uh, fuel pump. A stand that will fit right onto the pump without interference. And you'll need a four and a quarter inch push rod. If you try to take the uh, generator pump and put it on an alternator car, your stand may not fit on it. Plus your push rod tube or push rod will be too short to activate the generator style pump. I think people switch them back and forth and wonder why the fuel pump doesn't work. That's why. So like I said, when you buy these brand new, they're all recessed in the center so that they will work on an alternator style pump. But if you have the alternator style pump, you got to make sure you have a short four inch push rod. If you have the generator style pump, You need a four and one quarter inch push rod. I usually find that the uh, original generator pumps put out lower pressure, lower pressure than the alternator pumps. So I just put one of these on and had six pounds of pressure. It's an MP98 1270B. You know, nice little chrome fuel pump for your buggy. Looks good on there. I hope this clears a few things up and get you working again. Milo Manx. Later.